Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail that I'm either going to love, or my taste buds are going to murder me. And you know what? Sounds like it might be the case. Now, this is called Love and Murder, and it was created at the Porchlight Bar in New York by the bar director, Nick Bennett. And Nick decided he wanted to create something that felt classic. So, based on the ingredients here, I'm not sure. Now, I first came across this cocktail because of Steve, the bartender. He created the cocktail, did a review of it, and really had to think hard about the flavors and everything involved and whether he liked it or not. So I figured, you know what? I'll try it. And Steve is right. The splitting of the base spirits being green chartreuse and Campari are totally at odds with what you would think would go together in a cocktail. And you know what? This is where I'm gonna really kind of see if I like it because I like green chartreuse. I'm not a huge fan of Campari sometimes because of its overall bitterness. This will be really interesting. So let's get into it. Now this is a simple shaken cocktail. So grab your shaking glass and put it off to the side. Because first you wanna grab your knife, then what we'll do is we'll grab our lime here, we'll cut it in half, and then we'll squeeze in one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna use is our green chartreuse. And this is an incredibly herbal liqueur, and it is 55% alcohol by volume. We're gonna use the same amount one ounce or 30 milliliters. Awesome. So the next thing we're gonna use is a little bit of Campari. Now Campari is incredibly bitter, very dark red. And based on uh, what Steve said, he found this cocktail at liquor.com and the picture for the cocktail shows as a very bright red. I have a feeling it's gonna be even darker. So let's take it out. It's gonna be one ounce again or 30 milliliters. Okay, and maybe it is going to be a, a brighter red. Hard to tell. Next, we're going to use a little bit of simple syrup. And this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. Pretty easy. We're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Now this is gonna be interesting. It may be too sweet, it may not be. It's kind of hard with to the balancing. However, what we are going to add now is a five to one saline solution. And the salt in this should just brighten up the lime juice and cut some of the bitterness. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add some ice and just shake it pretty hard for a good 10 to 15 seconds. But you know what? We're also going to shake it with a smile because why not? Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Put that off to the side and we're gonna put this in a nice fancy coupe. I have my old timey coupe. I picked this up at a thrift shop. You know what? Everybody, if you want inexpensive glasses that are kind of really nice, go to your local thrift shop and see you know what you can find. However, we are going to fine strain this to keep out any chunks of ice or pulp and like so. Oh, very, very nice. That is not bright red, but it does look good. Now, the good thing is there's no garnish. So let's give it a try and see if we have the same reaction that Steve had. So immediately I give it a bit of a smell. I get a little bit of chartreuse and a little bit of Campari. It's not strong on the nose. that's sweet and bitter at the same time. Um, the herbal liqueur or the uh, green chartreuse is kind of there, but it's overpowered by the Campari. The simple syrup just kind of pushes it a little bit more. It's there, but the more you drink it, it changes and is a bit more subtle. So if you're used to something of this sort of setup, that third drink, by the way, was much better. If you're used to uh, something that 
is bitter like this, but with slight herbal notes that just kind of are just below the uh, surface, this is definitely your drink. If you want something that's more balanced, it may not be your thing. It's a great idea and it's a great take on something that is a classic feel and taste. I could get to like these if I drank enough of them. However, I'm not sure if I would ever order more than one or two at a place. Um, it's worth trying. You know what I will do is I will put the ingredients and method of how to make this down in the description for yourself. Try it out, play with it. If you think there are any adjustments could be made to this, please leave a comment down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze under rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.